So if you're thinking of moving to Rock Hill, South Carolina, these are the three neighborhoods you've got to check out. Hi, I'm Joe McIntosh, your North and South Carolina realtor, and welcome to another episode of Carolina Salute, where we cover everything sharp. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through three of the top neighborhoods in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And with these neighborhoods, you'll see why people are loving living here. The first neighborhood we're gonna talk about is Riverwalk. And I hope you're ready to be active because everything you need is here. If you're not familiar with where Riverwalk is on the map, it's on the east side of the city and bordered by I-77 and the Catawba River and just south of Cherry Road. Like I said, one of the reasons people love living here is there is no shortage of things to do. There are miles and miles of walking trails along the river. Have you thought about getting back on two wheels or have kids who are? It doesn't get any better. There is a world-class BMX track, a velodrome, a criterium course, and if mountain bikes are more your speed, there are six to seven miles of trails for you there also. There's a YMCA, an amphitheater, and there's the kayak launch, canoe launch, so you can get your boats in the water. You do not want to put motorized boats in the river here. It is shallow and rocky. Yes, all of that. All of that is in the neighborhood, and it sort of feels like its own little outdoor park resort, and it really is. The other thing you're asking, you're probably like, man, with all of that here in this neighborhood, it must be way out in the boonies. With all of this, you are still only 30 minutes to up down Charlotte and an easy commute to go get on 77 also or Highway 21 and come in the back. Do you have flights to catch? You've got to go to the airport. You're 15 to 20 minutes, all highway, easy drives. And to get to anywhere in Rock Hill, you're probably 15 to 20 minutes. Like I said, this city really is amazing with a lot to offer. You'll probably only go to Charlotte to go to work if that's where you work. Rock Hill, the city itself, has everything you're gonna need, but within this neighborhood, it's probably one of the best restaurants, not only in Rock Hill, but for this whole area, it's gonna be called the Pump House. Sit down, have a nice meal, enjoy a really cool view of the lake. And also within this neighborhood, there's a little business district. You're gonna have a Mexican cantina, there's a brewery down there and a couple businesses. And then above those is kind of that city life feel with condos and apartments. So let's talk about how much home you can get for your money here. We're gonna have townhomes, three bed, three bath. And those homes are gonna start in the 360s. That's a real number. I'm not being crazy here. Brand new townhomes, 360,000. Your average three bed, two bath home here is gonna be in the mid fours. There are some bigger four bedroom homes that are gonna probably be in the fives depending on square footage. Now, your biggest homes will be four and five bedrooms, brand new big front porches, and those are gonna be in the upper six and possibly into the sevens depending on the lot and the finishes of the home. The second neighborhood that we're gonna talk about is Millwood. Millwood's known for being an established, mature neighborhood. It's gonna be just a little north of the Piedmont Med Medical Center on Herlong Avenue. What makes this neighborhood very unique is its vicinity. It is close to everything. Within the neighborhood, there is the Millwood splash pad. It's not necessarily a pool. It's gonna be more of a splash pad play area for smaller kids. This is gonna be right next to the park, which has your soccer fields, there's a spot there for awesome barbecues. If you wanted to get in a little bit of batting practice with your little ones, there's a space there with the fence over to keep the ball from flying in the woods. If you need to get in shape, you've thought about it, or you're in shape and this is really important to you, LA Fitness is a simple walk. If you're looking for groceries, you've got Food Lion and Publix, and they're only five to seven minutes away and no fret you can have them delivered to your front door too. And for the dreaded question again, I know, what's my commute? It's actually pretty easy here. To get all the way to Uptown Charlotte, you're gonna be about 30 minutes. You've gotta get around to the airport, 35 minutes. 
you work in Valentine or you head to that side of town to do a lot of stuff, 30 minutes again, super easy. And hey, guess what? Even better, you're 10 minutes to get to anywhere in Rock Hill. So whether you're going to the river, downtown to have a drink, you're 10 minutes away. Now, how much home do you get for your money? There are some townhomes in this community. Your townhomes are gonna be 300 to 340, depending on size and updates to the homes. For your single family homes, you're gonna have three beds and three baths starting in the 400,000s and probably top out in the mid 450s. And then like a lot of the other neighborhoods, there are some larger homes here. Your larger homes here are gonna to top out at 550,000. And now for neighborhood number three is Laurel Creek. This is probably one of the premier nicest neighborhoods in all of Rock Hill. If you're unfamiliar with where Laurel Creek is on the map, it's up Herlong Road, just north of Clinice on the left-hand side. One of the reasons people like living in this location is because of the vicinity to I-77, which is your main artery into Charlotte. From this neighborhood, you're only two miles down to the highway. Laurel Creek is a master planned community that is made up of nine micro villages. This community has everything from townhomes to luxury appointed one acre lots and some patio homes with a 55 plus community. But the amenities are awesome. There's a junior Olympic pool, splash pad, a massive water slide, tennis courts. This neighborhood actually has clay tennis courts. So if you really want to keep your game up, this is a great place to live. When the developers planned out Laurel Creek, tree preservation, greenery, and green space was really important to them. So you'll see tons of mature trees and an extensive trail system that really takes you through nature and the neighborhood. Now for the commute, you've got all of this. And hey, guess what? To get to Uptown Charlotte, you're 30 minutes. You need to get around to the airport, 30 minutes. You see where I'm going with this. You need to get the Ballantyne. You're only 30 minutes. You can get to everything and Rock Hill has to offer in 15 minutes. It's a really awesome location. Your patio homes, which are gonna be in the back and mostly one level, are gonna be in the high 300s and these are all brick. A really nice place for a 55 plus community. There are also townhomes available that are right around the same price point and these townhomes are actually single level and just about all brick. Your mid-size homes here, probably 2,500 to 3,500 square feet are gonna be 500 to 700,000 and the majority of these homes are all brick with really nice lots. They've got good spacing so you don't see your neighbors all the time. Now, the higher end here, which is really set off by itself, these are estate-like homes are gonna be 4,000 to somewhere over 6,000 square feet. And these are gonna tip the scales between 900 and some well over a million. So there's a little bit about a couple Rock Hill neighborhoods. Of course, there are many more. I'd love to talk to you. Give me a call. I can give you all the information you want. I look forward to hearing from you. And thank you for watching another episode of Carolina Salute. And if you liked this, hit the subscribe and the like button.